Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a PF Sense on a virtual machine. So, uh, there are guys who doesn't even know what PF Sense is. It's actually the world's most trusted open source firewall. Okay, you can see it here PF Sense is free in open source firewall and a router that also features unified threat management, load balancing, multi one, and more. So. Uh, uh, if you haven't heard about PFSense yet, you can go to their website, okay? you can check it here. Uh, read the articles and then try to know what's, what's about this uh, uh, PFSense. Now for me, I've been using it for a long time. Uh, I've been using it uh, as a firewall for some institution, other clients, and it's been working out so good. The good thing here is it, the, the, the OS is free but uh, they are also selling hardware on their website so you can see it here they have uh, hardware here now this comes with the uh, OS now for us who doesn't want to buy we can download the PFSense itself and then we can make use of an old uh, PC uh, with at least a hundred megabytes um, megahertz speed or something like that but if you have an old PC that you're not using, you can actually download this uh, software and then you can install it there. The minimum requirements uh, for it is, I think, at least like, uh, maybe you can have one gigahertz of, uh, of uh, processor and at least a giga, uh, gigab one gigabyte of memory and at least 40 gigabyte of uh, hard disk can, I can assure you it will work. No. Uh, for the other guys who haven't yet tried this one and you want to try it on a VM box, you can follow my tutorial. Anyways, I'll be making one video on how to do this one on a physical machine. Okay, so for now we need to download the number one requirement for this. We need to download the OS. And the first thing we need to do is go to the website of PFSense. Go for install and then we can go for the architecture. You can read this one. Okay, if you're on the website, to select if uh, what's best for you, is it a 32-bit or a 64-bit? Now, I'm going to select the CD image I'm going to use for my VMware. I'm going to click download. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this one. Uh, for you guys who are still downloading this one, you can go on. For me, I've already downloaded it. So I, you can see it on my desktop. It's already here, PFNC release. AMD64. Now the next thing you need to have is the VMware workstation. So I already installed this one. We need to create a new VM uh, VMware machine. So I need to create. Okay, you can go for custom. You can go for typical, and then maybe you can edit the settings later on. For for me, I've already been in the custom. So uh, yeah. Okay. Next. And then you need to specify where the ISO image PFSense is. So this is actually located on my desktop. You can this PC desktop and then go for PFSense. And then next, and then this is actually a free BSD. So you need to click on others. Okay, free BSD next, and then you need to put uh, PFSense FW PFW. Okay, and then you can go for next. Okay, you can leave this one by default if you're not sure of it. But for me, I, I believe that my processor is uh, fast enough and I think it has more than uh, two processors, so I can put the one and two. Okay. You can make use of 256 if your RAM is one gigabyte, but if you have lots of space on your RAM, then you can make it higher. For me, I have 12 gig of RAM, so I would choose 2048. Okay, here. Uh, we are going to uh, choose what kind of networking we are going to use. Basically, what we need is two network cards. So we need to create two virtual NICs. And then first, I can only select one. So I'm going to use bridge networking first. Then later on, I'm going to edit that one. So I'll go for recommended and recommended. And then next. And then I can leave that one by default. I don't need that kind of space, but that will be okay. Okay, and then you can use the one next. Okay, and then next, and then we can customize the hardware again, so that we can add one more network adapter. So this was on bridge, 
so I can use um, uh, bridge we can edit this one also I want to put this one on a V net zero okay I choose this one because by default this is a bridge networking set by VMware and then what I'm going to do is I need to add another network card uh, so if you can picture this one already this I will use this one as on my one port and my next one will be my LAN port okay so I'm going to add a network adapter next I'm going to use host only finish okay on the host only I need to select VM one host only you can see the one okay and then close and then finish okay we can check this is where I'm going to show you edit virtual preferences and then you can change uh, yes if you are going to click that one you can see this one VM net zero is set to bridge okay that's the default for um, VMware so you can use V net zero and v VM net one okay and then okay I, I just showed you one I'm going to power this one up so you can see I have two network adapters here power up there you go here goes my VMware eight seconds space to pause okay we are just going to wait for this one to load up <clears throat> okay you can see here press R to enter recovery mode or press I to launch installer now what we really want is press I because we have a counter here okay <clears throat> we, we want to install this PFN so we need to press I now for me I, I, I didn't even did a uh, configuration here just go and accept these settings and click in an easy install and then okay <clears throat> Okay, so uh, this will take uh, about two to three minutes and then uh, uh, I'll just post this video first and then get back to you later. Okay, so here we are. Um, we are going, uh, it says here standard kernel. So I'm going to press enter. Okay, and then reboot. Okay, you can see it here. It says username, admin, and password PFSense. We can access it on 192.168.1.1. But later on, I'm going to change. We need to change that one because I'm running other services running on 192.168.1.1. Okay. rebooting now it's fast okay should VLANs be set up now okay so now we don't have plans of installing I uh, setting up VLAN so I'm going to press N enter enter the one interface name name or a for auto detection so uh, you can check it here we have two neck nick card uh, the one we set it up earlier so i'll choose the em0 for one and the le0 for lamp so i'm going to type e m0 enter and then enter oh why why oh again e m0 you got the small m and then said enter the lan interface name or a for auto detection this enables full firewall firewalling not mode so le0 so that's our LAN. Enter the optional interface. Okay, so if you have additional interface, you can set it up here. But for now, uh, let's just skip this one because later on, if you want to add more cards, then we can add. Uh, we can identify them also. But for now, our example is two cards, so you can just go enter. 
There you go. One would be EM0, one would be LE0. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Configuring. Configuring one interface. Configuring firewall done. There we go. So you can check it here. Uh, we have our LAN and we have your one, but it doesn't have any IP address. I don't know why, but later on we'll find out. So what I'm going to do is I want to change the uh, IP address for the LAN because I have 192.168.1.1 running on other systems. So what I need to do is I'm just going to select on the menu here. We have a menu. You can see it here. So what I need to do is set interfaces IP address. I'm going to change this one first. So, uh, but if you, uh, in your case, if you're not running anything, you can, you can do what, uh, you can continue this one. You can go to your browser and dial this one or there and you can uh, access your web GUI right away. So for me, what I need to do is I'm going to press 2, enter, okay, available interface, uh, enter the number of the interface you wish to configure, 2, enter the new LAN IP address, and I'm going to change it to 10.100, oh my, number 10.100.100, uh, uh, let's just use 10. Okay, and then what would be the mask that will be 24? I'm going to use 24 for LAN, press enter for none. Okay, so let's just go for none. Okay, enter a new LAN IPv6, press enter for none. Do you want to enable DHCP? Yes. Okay, enter the start uh, address would be 10.100.100. This is 100. You can start with 100. And then 10.100.100. That 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 you go for 200. Or we can use 254, the last IP address, up to the last IP. Okay. Do you want? Yes. You want to revert to HTTP as the web configurator? Yes. Okay. Now, after doing this one, we can actually uh, go here. You can uh, check this one. Uh, HTTP 10 10.100.200.10 and by that time we should be able to access our web interface for the PFSense so PFSense has a web interface and you can also do command line if you know how to do the command line so I'm going to do 10.100.100.10 I hope we're there already hoping so Let's wait. Ten, that one hundred, that one hundred, that ten. There you go. So the default for this one is admin and a PF sense. There you go. Welcome to PF sense. Okay. So at this point in time, you are already good to go with the GUI, and then uh, just wait for my next tutorial. I'm going to show you all the basic configuration configuration of the PF sense, and then the other add-in features with this one so hang up uh, sit tight wait for my videos uh, also I'm going to create a video like what I've said earlier how are you are going to deploy this one on a physical machine so if you have old pieces at home you can use that one also you can make use of old uh, computers if you want to buy then buy okay bye bye see you next time